We've just arrived in Ubud, Bali, Indonesia. And what we are doing is going over to the Green School. We've looked at it on the internet. We're fascinated by the concept. And we're going to be meeting with the director and taking a tour of this astounding campus. A campus made up almost entirely of bamboo uh, construction. Hi, my name is Brad Hoyt. I'm director of Green School. I'm delighted to welcome Bill here. Thank you for being here at Green School. Um, here we are trying to build a new type of school, a new model where it's possible for every child to succeed. We're really excited about the vision. We're going to be including environmental initiatives, entrepreneurial initiatives, initiatives that allow students to link their learning to life. Everything about our school is designed to optimize learning so that every child can succeed. That includes the classroom design that is made out of beautiful uh, bamboo and, and wonderful uh, earth structures. And most of all, it's about the teachers and the teachers who are coming from all over the world to interact with the students and really get to know their distinct learning needs. We're trying to push the limits of what's possible to do with bamboo. We're thinking of bamboo as an integral material with specific qualities that allows it to do things that wood or other materials can't do at all. And when we think about that, we can think about what structures are possible, what shapes are possible, and we let the characteristics and properties of bamboo dictate the forms that the structures come out. At Green School, we're doing our best not to cut down any trees. So in some instances, we're planting our, our buildings around the current trees that are growing. In other instances, we're just letting the trees grow through the roofs. So we're having them as part of an architectural detail that complements the other materials that we have inside the structures. The buildings are all very open-aired, open-designed, as is the curriculum, as is the philosophy here at, in, uh, at the Green School, um, basically representing the, the, the idea of no boundaries. There are no boundaries. There is a, a very much a cohesion with outside and inside, uh, philosophically and uh, physically in all our structures. The, uh, so bamboo is an extremely fast-growing material uh, these bamboo poles that you see behind me uh, took about five or six years to grow, which is, um, you know, compared to 30 to 50 years for a tree. Um, and another advantage is that these, once you cut it off the root, it just grows right back again. One of the first structures that was built here, in fact, I think it was the first structure that was built here, is the bridge and it spans the gorgeous Ayung River, which is one of Bali's biggest, wildest, most beautiful rivers. And it is a shape of this incredible, um, uh, it looks like a ship. It really looks like a ship and it connects the two sides of campus. And the instant that it was built, people started to use it. There wasn't a soul living on this campus. There wasn't a school building built. There wasn't a student enrolled, but there was this gorgeous bridge that the Hardys envisioned. And it began to be used by villagers. The structures here are inspired by the shape of a wave. Um, our architect was interested in the shapes of bamboo that are like shapes of water. So we're using bamboo tali, we're using uh, whole pieces of patung bamboo, and we're using rammed earth to create the lines and the forms that really create an inspirational environment to either learn in or to live in. This looks like a pineapple. It is, it's inspired by a pineapple, but one of the things that we're really trying to do is come up with really innovative furniture design that's fun, that's creative, that's going to inspire learning. And the idea is that if you're living around really creative furniture and you're going in and living in a classroom that's really creative and outside of a box, you'll be able to think outside of a box. So we want imaginative things all around us. So we have three main aspects of our curriculum. The first aspect deals with the core content and the learning that students need to learn in order to succeed in their generation. So that means the reading, the writing, the math, science, everything that they need to learn in order to be contributing uh, to their generation and to, and to really function in our society. The second part of our curriculum has to do with connecting um, their learning to real life situations and that we're going to be doing in our learning village. That's the authentic part of the curriculum. And that includes taking parts of what they learn in the classroom and connecting it to real-world situations. So we're going to have different industry 
on the campus that has to do with developing, um, uh, for example, we might have a publishing house, we might have a chocolate factory, we might have a ceramics workshop, we might have coconut oil production, palm leaf oil production, um, and all these things are going to be things that the students can actually uh, apply their knowledge to. We feel that the stronger the motivation is to learn, uh, the easier the learning is, and when students are able to actually apply what they learn to real-world situations, the learning becomes much more effortless and it becomes much more engaged, and we're training students to become lifelong learners in really important ways. I think we're doing something really important here and really vital for the future of education and perhaps of the planet. Um, if you look at what's happening in the world today, we've reached a really critical point in, in the history of, of this planet. And too many people in too many places are going about things in the same old ways. And these are ways that haven't proved to be sustainable. And here at Green School, we're doing everything differently. We're looking at the way we build our roads. We're looking at the way we construct houses, the materials that we use for building, using it how we generate power. And we're looking at the way that we educate students. And we're lifting it all on its head. And I think we're, we're really at the forefront of a revolution here in education.